To be honest, it's not that often that we come across data represented as formal context. Usually, an attribute may have a number of values. The attribute color has values red, green, and blue, and so on. The attributes age or height, as many other attributes, are numerical. To be able to work with data using such attributes, we need a way to transform it into a formal context. In formal concept analysis, numerical and some other types of data is handled by so-called many-valued contexts, which are then scaled into normal one-valued formal contexts. Here is an example. This is a dataset showing chemical components of Babylonian enamel. The rows stand for ceramic objects, lines and parts of the throne facade. The entries indicate how much sodium, and A stands for sodium, calcium, aluminum, iron and copper was found. In FCA, this is formalized by a many-valued context. Mathematically, a many-valued context is a quadruple GMWI, where G and M are object and attribute sets respectively, W is a set of attribute values, and I is a ternary relation satisfying the condition that the same object attribute pair can be related to at most one value. That is, an object may have at most one value for each attribute. So every attribute M may be treated as a function that maps an object to an attribute value. Only this function doesn't have to be defined everywhere. Some attributes may be undefined for some objects. But in our example, all such attribute functions are defined everywhere. So in our case, G is the set of ceramic objects under consideration, M is the set of chemical elements, sodium, calcium, and so on, and uh, W is the set of four values, ranging from very weak to rich. The relation I simply specifies how much of every chemical element there is in every ceramic object. How do we transform a many-valued context into a one-valued context? One way to do this is to replace each attribute by all its possible values tagged by the attribute name. An object will get a new attribute if the value of the corresponding many-valued attribute for this object is equal to the value corresponding to this new attribute. So T1 will get the attribute sodium rich and won't get the attribute sodium medium because the value of the many-valued attribute sodium is rich for T1 in the many-valued context. Note that our derived one-valued context doesn't contain, for example, the attribute sodium weak because none of the objects of the many-valued context is weak in sodium. This method of transforming many-valued contexts into one-valued ones is called nominal scaling. It is obvious and simple, but it has its problems. Our attribute values are ordered. Rich is more than medium and more than weak, but it is closer to medium than to weak. So if one object is rich in sodium, another one is medium, and the third one is weak, the first object is more similar to the second one than to the third. We lose this information on the relation between attribute values if we use nominal scaling. To avoid this, other types of scaling may be used.